Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm the Delphi product manager. And on November 28th, I'm going to present a webinar on multi-tier scalable development and deployment of Delphi DataSnap applications. So in this short video, I'm not actually going to get into the details, but just to give you an idea of the topics that are going to cover. First, we'll focus on building application services with um, DataSnap. The idea here is to show you kind of shortly without getting into too much details, the various alternatives you have in terms of building DataSnap servers or REST servers or socket-based servers, and somehow try to figure out what you want to use in, in which of the different options you want to use in the various situations. Again, we won't get into too much detail because it could take like a full day to get into all of the options, but give you an overview and show a couple of practical demos. The next step I'm going to focus on is in deployment. So once you've built one of these services, how you make it available to customers. There are multiple options, of course. Could be an internal service, could be a public service, you might want to integrate it with web servers, and there are different alternatives to do that. You can create an integrated module, like Apache module or um, iZapi library. But you can also do proxy configurations and other use other models that are going to introduce. Finally, the other option that's available and it's um, increasingly interesting, uh, also for scalability reasons is to host your services in the cloud. So go move from a pro proprietary architecture to one of the cloud architecture. And I'll show you how you can put your service on the Amazon cloud, on the Amazon Web Services cloud. And this will also open up a side topic, which is certainly relevant um, and is how do we make sure that if once we've deployed these servers, they don't, they won't actually be uh, limited. We don't hit roadblocks if we get too many connections, too many users. Now there isn't a silver bullet, there isn't a perfect solution, but there are tips and techniques that are relevant. And also going back to the beginning, the model, development model you're going to choose for your DataSnap server has effect on the on the scalability. So if you go for restless servers, um, sorry, rest and stateless server, you'll be able to be much more scalable than if you go for like socket-based, uh, connection-based servers. But of course, there are advantages and disadvantages, and I'm going to focus on some of those. Uh, finally, because that's actually the big point, once you have a service, how do you use that service? So again, I'm going to, not going to go into too much details, but I'll show you uh, some very simple clients uh, built for completely different technologies. We'll have uh, demos of um, phone-based clients. We'll have demos of web-based clients. We'll have demos of uh, traditional PC or Mac clients. So the the if you pick the right server side technology, you will be able to have a lot of flexibility in the way you build the clients. And those clients could be as well built in Delphi, but they could as, as build they could be built with other uh, technologies. They could be built with native development kits for the mobile. They could be built on top of standard JavaScript libraries and frameworks. So that's more or less what's on, on the roadmap. Um, again, uh, the webinar is November 28th. Uh, it will be shown at different time zones. So it'll be re repeated and I'll be online to answer uh, all of your questions. Thanks.